Today we'll show you the new batch processing tools available in ImagePro Premiere. The version we're working with is ImagePro Premiere 9.1. Batch processing allows you to apply your processing steps to all of your open images or a whole folder of images, streamlining your work. For today's tutorial, we'll show you how to first create a very simple macro, and then we'll walk through how you can apply it to a folder of images. So let's say we wanted to count all of the dark objects on this image. To create our macro, we'll go to the Automate tab, hit Record, and we'll give it a name. Count Dark Objects 2. Then we'll see our recording dialog pops up, which we can pause or stop at any point. We'll go to the Count Size tab. We'll choose to segment all of our dark objects. And we could just hit Count if we wanted to just apply a count to all of those objects, but usually what you want to do when you're running your process on a whole folder of images is collect all of the data that you are pulling from those images. So we want to then go to our data collector, which is in the measure tab. And all we need to do is choose this little magic wand button, which means auto collection. That means that it'll automatically collect all of the data every time we go ahead and hit count or we measure any objects. Now that our auto collection is on, we'll go back to our count size tab and choose count and that'll measure all of the objects. We'll go ahead and stop recording. And now I'll just run through a quick test to make sure my macro works. So I'll go back to the Automate tab and I'll just choose this Project Explorer. There's my drop down. There's the current Count Dark Objects 2 macro that I just created. I'll run through it. There's my macro. And if I want, I can also check in the Measure tab and open the data table for the data collector to make sure that my data collection made its way into that table. Now we'll run through batch processing. So if we go back to the Automate tab, we have the Batch Processing button. We'll select that, and you can see it gives us three steps to take to start our batch process. The first thing we need to do is select which macro we want to process or use to process our images, what images we want to perform our batch processing on, and then the Start button. So we'll go ahead and choose to loop that count dark objects macro on all of our images. You also have the option if you wanted to create a macro that maybe ran before this other macro, such as if you wanted to select a certain settings file, you could do so. Or if you wanted to run a macro after this process was done, such as if we wanted to export all of our data at the very end to Excel, we may want to create a separate macro that just exports the data table out to Excel. But we'll just run our simple macro on these images. Then we have the option to choose either all of the open images that we have available. Right now I don't have any open, so we don't need to add any there. And then you can navigate as well to a folder of images on your network. So I'll choose this batch images folder, which includes about five images, similar to the one that I just ran this demo on. And at the bottom we have our start batch process option. You can just hit the Start button, or you can choose some different options as well. You can choose to display all of the documents, or you can turn that off and it'll just process them in the background. And you can choose to monitor the folders. The nice thing about the Monitor Folders option is that if you add new images into that folder, it'll automatically process them. So now we'll go ahead and hit Start. And we're running the count on the five images that were in that folder. And it's pulling all of the measurement data from all of those images. And now we've completed our process. I can go back into the measure tab, open up the data table for the data collector, and I can browse through all of the data that was collected from all of the images that we just processed. And as mentioned, you could also have a macro that then exports all of this data out into Excel or run a report, a lot of different options. 
If you have any additional questions about the batch processing tool or ImagePro Premier, please contact your local media cybernetics representative or reseller.